Hi, this is Dan from DIY Domination. In this video, we are going to teach you how to prepare a first aid kit for emergencies. In the face of the unexpected, being prepared is truly half the battle won. One of the key elements in this preparation is having a well-stocked first aid kit. It's not just about band-aids and antiseptic wipes, but a collection of supplies you may need in the event of an accident or emergency. This kit can be a lifesaver, literally, providing essential items to treat injuries, manage conditions, and potentially tide you over until professional medical help arrives. Throughout this video, we will guide you through the process of assembling your own basic first aid kit. We'll cover everything from selecting the right container, gathering basic supplies including medications and personal items, to storing your kit in a convenient location. So, if you're ready to take a proactive step towards emergency preparedness, you're in the right place. Stay tuned to learn how to assemble a basic first aid kit step by step. By the way, if you like this video and want to see more videos with advice on emergency preparedness and survival, make sure to click the subscribe button and leave a comment down below saying I subscribed, and we'll do our best to reply to your comment. The first step in creating your first aid kit is choosing a container. Now, the type of container you choose is crucial. You'll need something durable that can withstand a knock or two, and waterproof to keep your supplies dry and usable. A plastic or metal box with a tight sealing lid could be an excellent choice. Look for something with compartments to keep your supplies organized and easy to find in a hurry. Alternatively, a soft-sided bag might be your preference. They are typically lighter and more portable, which can be a plus for those on the go. Some even come with compartments and pockets, so again, everything is in its place and easy to find. Whether you go for a box or a bag, make sure it's easy to open. In an emergency, every second counts. Remember, durability and accessibility are key when choosing your container. Now that you have your container, it's time to gather your basic supplies. First on our list are adhesive bandages. You'll want a variety of sizes and shapes to cover small cuts, blisters, or scrapes. These are your first line of defense against infection. Next, we have sterile gauze pads and adhesive tape. These are used for wound dressing and securing bandages. They're crucial when dealing with larger injuries that need more coverage than a simple bandage can provide. Antiseptic wipes or solution are another essential. These will be used for cleaning wounds and preventing infection. You never know what conditions you might be in when an injury occurs, so having a quick effective way to clean a wound is key. Scissors and tweezers are also a must. Scissors can be used for cutting tape, gauze, or clothing, while tweezers are perfect for removing splinters or ticks. Make sure these are durable and sharp. Disposable gloves should also be included to protect yourself when providing first aid. They can help prevent the spread of infection and keep both you and the person you're helping safe. Pain relievers such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen are useful to have on hand for managing pain from injuries or illnesses. An antihistamine is also a good addition for handling allergic reactions and insect bites. It can help alleviate symptoms and provide some relief. Aspirin can be a lifesaver during a heart attack if advised by a doctor. It's a small item that can have a big impact, so it's worth including. A thermometer is another important tool. Digital thermometers are convenient and accurate, allowing you to monitor body temperature in cases of fever or illness. Lastly, don't forget to include a second pair of tweezers. They're small, easy to overlook, but incredibly useful. These are your essential items, but remember, your first aid kit will also need to be personalized to your family's specific needs. In addition to basic supplies, your first aid kit should also include important medications and personal items. This is where customization becomes key, as every family has unique needs and circumstances that should be considered. Firstly, prescription medications. If any member of your family requires specific medications, it's crucial to include a sufficient supply in your kit. Whether it's an inhaler for asthma, insulin for diabetes, or an EpiPen for severe allergies, these life-saving medications can make a world of difference in an emergency. Next, consider adding a list of emergency contact information. This should include phone numbers of family members, friends, healthcare providers, and local emergency services. In a stressful situation, having this information readily available can save precious time. Next on the list is medical information. This includes any relevant medical information like known allergies, a list of current medications, and any other pertinent health details. This information can be invaluable to first responders or medical personnel if they need to treat you or a loved one. Last but certainly not least, consider including a medical history form for each family member. This form should provide a summary of each person's medical history, including previous surgeries, chronic conditions, and any other relevant medical information. 
This can be particularly useful if emergency medical treatment is required and you're unable to provide this information yourself. Remember, the goal here isn't to pack your entire medicine cabinet into your first aid kit. Rather, it's to have a compact, portable collection of essential items that can be of immediate help in an emergency situation. Take some time to think about what your family might need in an emergency. You know your family best, so don't hesitate to customize your first aid kit to best suit your needs. These personal items can make a critical difference in an emergency. So, don't overlook their importance. By including these items in your first aid kit, you're not just preparing for emergencies, you're preparing to thrive through them. Now, let's add a first aid manual and some specific emergency items to your kit. A first aid manual is an essential component of your kit. Even if you've had first aid training, in the heat of the moment, it's easy to forget crucial steps. Having a manual on hand provides a quick reference guide, ensuring you administer the correct treatment. This invaluable resource can guide you through everything from treating minor injuries to performing life-saving techniques. Now let's talk about emergency items. Picture this. You're camping in the great outdoors, and the temperature drops significantly. You're freezing and need to stay warm. This is where an emergency blanket comes in. These lightweight, compact, and highly reflective blankets are designed to retain body heat making them a crucial survival tool. Next up, instant cold packs. These are a must-have for treating sprains, strains, and other injuries that require cold therapy. They're easy to use, just squeeze to activate, and you've got an instant source of cold relief. Plus, they're single-use and disposable, so no need to worry about refrigeration. Finally, a CPR face mask. CPR can be a life-saving procedure, but it's important to protect yourself and the person you're helping. A CPR face mask provides a barrier between you and the patient, reducing the risk of cross-contamination. It's a small item that can make a big difference in an emergency. Incorporating these items into your first aid kit can equip you to handle a wider range of situations. From staying warm in extreme conditions with an emergency blanket, to treating injuries with an instant cold pack, these additions can prove vital. And of course, a CPR face mask can make the life-saving act of performing CPR safer for everyone involved. These items can help you respond effectively to a variety of emergency situations. Finally, let's talk about how to maintain and store your first aid kit. It's not enough to just create a kit and then forget about it. The contents need to be checked and updated regularly to ensure everything is in working order and up to date. Think about it. You've gone through all the effort to put together a comprehensive first aid kit, but if the medications inside are expired, they won't be as effective. And in some cases, expired medications can even be harmful. So, make it a habit to go through your kit every few months. Check the expiry dates on all medications and replace anything that's out of date. But it's not just about the medications. You also need to check the condition of other items like adhesive bandages and gauze pads. Over time, these can lose their adhesiveness or become less sterile. If they're not in top-notch condition, they won't be as effective when you need them. And remember, your kit isn't static. As your family's needs change, your first aid kit should evolve too. Perhaps you've developed a new allergy, or someone in your family has been prescribed a new medication. Make sure your kit reflects these changes. Now let's talk about storage. Your first aid kit should be easily accessible in case of an emergency. It's no good having a fully stocked kit if you can't find it when you need it most. Store it in a place that's known and visible to all family members. Perhaps that's in the kitchen cupboard or in the hallway closet. The point is, everyone should know where it is, and it should be easy to get to. And one more thing. While it's important to have a first aid kit at home, consider also having one in your car and a small one in your bag or backpack when you're out and about. You never know when you might need it. Remember, a first aid kit is only as good as its contents and its accessibility. And now you know how to assemble a basic first aid kit. From choosing a durable waterproof container to gathering essential supplies such as adhesive bandages, sterile gauze pads, and a digital thermometer, we've covered it all. We've also discussed the importance of including necessary medications and personal items based on your family's specific needs. In addition, remember to incorporate a first aid manual for reference and emergency items like an emergency blanket, instant cold packs, and a CPR face mask. Regularly checking and updating your first aid kit is vital to ensure all items are in good condition and information is up to date. Finally, store your kit in a visible and easily accessible location known to all family members. This is a basic first aid kit and you may need to customize it based on your specific needs and any medical conditions your family members may have. Remember, preparation is key. Stay safe and thanks for watching.
If you like this video then make sure to also watch these videos for more DIY emergency preparedness advice.